Meet the new Miss Soweto. She is 22-year-old Ludina Nguenya and her passion for advocating for those who live with a visible difference is a personal one. Burnt by hot water as a toddler, she wears her scars like a true warrior. Good evening, my beautiful Sowetans. My name is Ludina Nguenya, a vibrant 22-year-old representing Midoland. Miss Soweto's goals are clear. She wants young girls to realize that their beauty is a crown, best worn with elegance and humility. I am filled with absolute gratitude. I don't even know how that happened, but oh, I am still so excited. Ludina Nguenya entered the 42nd Miss Soweto competition to advocate for people who live with a visible difference, just like her. I have been owning it for a, a while now and I've been saying I wear my scars like a badge of honour. Ludina lives with childhood burn scars from boiling water. They crisscross her arms and hands and shoulders. You know, it's not only just about being petty or anything. It's showing how strong I am. It's showing that I actually have a background story to tell. Like, hey, listen, I survived. I don't have to tell you my story. You can just see it, that I am a survivor. I am stronger than whatever tried to destroy me. Ludina was born in George Carriage in Cape Town. As a toddler, she pulled down a pot of boiling water from a primer stove. She doesn't remember the accident, but she remembers the stigma which came with the burns. Our grade one teacher would make us hold hands after school. And I really hated after school, simply because nobody would want to hold my hand. The family moved to Boxburg, where Ludina's mom took on domestic work. Then I came to a completely different world. So in Johannesburg, uh, my mother worked as a domestic worker and that's where basically I got to experience a different life from the township life. Weekends were spent with her beloved granny in Medulin, Soweto, but during the week, Ludina was focused on hiding her scars. That's what led me to actually wear jerseys and not wanting to participate in a lot of things at school. So I, I really did go through a period where I shut myself because I didn't want to go through that willing. In grade 11, Ludina entered a pageant for fun and became Miss Sensational. She gained confidence and experience and put it all to good use in public speaking and debating. And I also um, think it's what helped me in being able to communicate with people because I always knew that I wanted to communicate with people also for a purpose. This helped her as well in the Miss Soweto pageant when she was given an awkward question to answer in the final round. But I want to know, what is your view on cancel culture? It sounds like such a simple question until you don't know what cancel culture is. Mm. Pardon? On? Cancel culture. I asked what it was, and once they told me what it was, I was able to answer the question. We need to also educate through social media how to behave, how to treat each other as human beings. And the other question everyone asks, what did you win? The prizes. I won a sum of money from White Star, The Fuse, and Toyota sponsored me with a brand new Toyota Starlet XR. I am so excited because I got that car um, the day before my birthday. So it was like a birthday present from me to me. Ludina's goal for her Miss Soweto reign is to create a safe, inclusive and realistic society by advocating for those who live with a visible difference. I want to celebrate people who are different. I want to um, let them know that they are seen, they are loved, and they should just come out to, to the world. Never hide yourself for anyone, because when you become yourself, and when you show people that you are not afraid to be who you are, and then no one can break you. And that's it from us. Reach out with story ideas via devi at etv.co.za or tag us using hashtag devi on social media. 
from me and the Devi team. Until next time, heads up South Africa. Let's keep our eyes fixed on the horizon. We've got this. Yeah, Devi.